Hi all, welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to look at simultaneous equations and how to solve them. So first of all let's look at the two variable scenario where you have only two equations and we can find the values for two variables. So here this uh, a1x plus b1y equals c1 and a2x plus b2y equals c2 is a set of simultaneous equations that we are having and here this a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2, c2 are coefficients. So my objective is I am going to remove one variable so that I am only left with one equation with the other variable and I can find the answer for that. So let's look at this example where you have 2x plus 3y equals 8 and 3x minus 2y equals minus 1. So what I'm going to do is as I said earlier I'm going to remove one variable from both the equations so that I'm left with the other variable and I can find it. So to do that what I will do is I will take the first equation and multiply by that, that by a certain constant and take the second equation and multiply that by another constant so that the coefficient of either x or y are going to be the same. When the coefficients are the same, I can add or deduct the two equations so that the, that variable can be removed from the equation and I'm only left with the other variable. So let's see how to solve this equation. So this is how you can do it. Uh, we take the first equation and you can see that the coefficient of x of the first equation is 2 and we take the second equation we can see that the coefficient of the x variable is 3. So if I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 I will get the coefficient of x to be 6 and I have to multiply the other uh, coefficient of the other variables as well and I take the second equation and I'm going to multiply that one by 2 so that the coefficient of x is going to be 6 again. So now we have this equation 3 and equation 4 where you have 6x plus 9y equals 24 and 6x minus 4y equals minus 2. Now you can see this interesting fact that the coefficient of x variables are the same. So now I can deduct one equation from the other one that is 3 minus 4 and when you do that I can remove the x variable. So here you can see that 6x plus 9y minus 6x minus 4y equals 24 minus 2 and then when you expand this one you will get 6x plus 9y minus 6x plus 4y equals 26. So you have 6x and minus 6x and you can cancel them off. When you do that you have only the y variable left so 9y plus 4y equals 26 and that is 30y equals 26 and y equals my, is equal to plus 2. So this is how you can solve the value for one variable. Once you have the value for the uh, one variable, you can substitute that value in one of the equations and you can find the other variable. And this is how it is done. So we can substitute the value of y in the equations 1 or 2 and we can get the x value. So if you take the equation 1, we can see that there is 2x plus 3y equals 8. We substitute the value of y here that is 2 and then you have this 2x equals 8 minus 6 and finally one, once you simplify you will get the x value to be 1. In this way we can find out the answer for two simultaneous equations. Now we will look at the situation where you have three variables. Now you can see this uh, there are three variables x, y and z and there are three equations. So when you have three variables the method that you are going to follow is the same but the procedure is a little bit different different so what you do here is we have three equations of those three equations I'm going to select two and I'm going to remove one variable so once I do that I have a single equation with two variables and similarly I will take another pair of equations and I will remove that's a variable that we have removed earlier from the new set of equations and again you will have one equation with two variables. So uh, in order to select that I have three options. I can take either one or two and remove one variable or I can take two or three and remove one variable or I can take one and three and remove one variable. So first of all we will take the equation number one and two and try to remove the x variable from that. Now we take equations one and two and I will take the first equation and I will multiply by that by 3. Once I do that I will get 3x plus 9y minus 6 is it equal to 3. Now you can see that the coefficient of x in the second equation and in the fourth equation are the same that is 3. So now I will take the fourth equation and deduct the second equation from that one. I will get this 3x plus 9y minus 6 is it minus this value and uh, 3 minus 2 and once you expand it you will get 3x plus 9y minus 6 is it 
minus 3x minus minus will be plus 2y and minus is it equals 3 minus 2 is 1. So you can see that 3x and minus 3x will get cancelled off with each other. Now we have effectively removed x from this equation. So now you have only y and z. So the solution of this one will be 11y minus 7 z is equal to 1. So in a similar manner, we can take another set of equations. Now here we have taken equation number 1 and 3 and from these two equations also we are going to remove the x variable. In order to do that, uh, the coefficient of the third, third equation is 2. Therefore, I will multiply the first equation by 2. When I do that, I will get 2x plus 6y minus 4 is it. That is equal to 2 and I am going to take this sixth equation and I am going to deduct the third equation from that one. So I will get 2x plus 6y minus 4 is it minus 2x minus 3y minus 2 is it is equal to 2 minus minus 10. So once you expand it, it will become 2x plus 6y minus 4 is it and then you will get minus 2x plus 3y plus 2 is it is equal to 12. Again, you can see that the coefficient of x variable are the same then I can cancel them off. Now you have another equation which only contains y and z. So that is 9y minus 2z is equal to 12. By now we have effectively reduced the initial three equations into two equations which contains only two variables. Now we can solve them in the like in the previous case where you have only two variables. And these are the two equations, 11y minus 7 is it equals 1, that is equation number 5, and 9y minus 2 is it equals 12, that is equation number 7. We can solve them as in the previous way. So, we take the fifth equation and we multiply that one by 9. So, then you will get the coefficient of y to be 99. 11 into 9 is 99. You multiply the rest as well. And you take the seventh equation and multiply that by 11. So that 9 into 11 is going to be 99. So what I have done is I have made the coefficient of y equal to each other in the both equations. And once I have same coefficients like that, I can deduct the equation. So here I will deduct 9 from I will deduct 8 from 9 and I will get 99y minus 22 z minus 99y minus 63 z and 132 minus 9. So you will get once expanded 99y minus 22 z minus 99y plus 63 z equals 123. Again, you can see that 99y will get cancelled off. And then you will have minus 22 e z plus 63 is 123. Once you simplify, e z will become plus 3. So now I have found the value for one variable, that is e z. When I have that, I can substitute that value in one of these 5 or 7 equations and I can find the y value. So here I will take the equation number 7. From that, you will see 9y minus 2 is it equals 12. Then 9y is equal to 12 plus 2 is it. You substitute the value of z into this, that is 3, and you simplify, you will get the y value to be 2. So now we have solved the values for two variables, that is z and y. The rest is simple. I, I can take one of the original equations, 1, 2, 3, and substitute y and z in one of those equations, and then I can easily get the x value. And in that case, we will take the equation number 1 and in that we are going to substitute y and z. So x plus 3y minus 2 z equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1 minus 3y plus 2 z. You substitute the values of y and z and then you can see easily see that then they will get cancelled off actually and x will become 1. So in this manner, we can simplify the equations in such a way so that we can get the answers for the three variables we are looking at. So this is how you can solve uh, three equations which contain in three variables and how to get the answers for that.